All right, YouTube, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. It is Friday. We got ourselves May 6th, two games on the NBA slate tonight. We'll be jumping into the Philly Miami game and the Dallas Phoenix game as well. As always, I'll give you my lean against the spread on each game. I'll tell you what I'm thinking, what my thoughts are on the game. Um, and maybe some total action as well. But as always, my final plays, including any player props that we add, will be in the pinned comments. So make sure to check that out throughout the day. Um, yeah, we can jump right into the recap from a couple nights ago. So we did not have any NBA basketball last night, but we did have a positive night a couple nights ago on Thursday. We were able to cash that parlay of the Suns money line and the Suns and Mavs over for 265 odds there. The ride of the day, unfortunately, did not come through for us. Reggie Bullock, over six and a half boards coming in from Nicholas, was our only uh, our only downfall of the day. You know we got to give the womp womp. No hard feelings, so I do like the play. I mean, um, he had hit it in six of six, and I really do like it when you guys drop rides of the day in the comments and kind of say your piece as to why you are you want me to ride with this. You know, I see a lot of the ride of the days, and I'll jump in. I put my money where your mouth is, trust your research, um, and I will take a play and ride with it. But I do like when someone kind of defends their stance. So I at least know that Nicholas looks at this and says, hey, you know what? The numbers told me to do this, and I rolled with the numbers. It just didn't work out tonight, and that's all right. So, uh, you know, we do have to give the womp womp to Nicholas, but that means in his last seven games, Reggie Bullock has only hit that under once and it was the time that we jumped on board but if you guys do have a play that you would like to throw in the comments tonight use hashtag ride of the day in the comments and i'll be picking one person in the comments to ride with one pick it could be a pick it could be a total it could be a first half first quarter anything it could be a player prop we'll be picking one person to jump on board with and you guys will get a shout out win or loss in the next video but uh yeah two games on the slate tonight before we do that you guys know I'm going to go ahead and thank all of the ballers out there. We just had an awesome, an awesome giveaway with the ballers. Uh, someone picked up a Fade Me tee. Shout out to Corey there. But um, I do want to give a member by member shout out because I think it's been a few videos since we did this and we do have some new members. Even the graphic is not up to date. But we have Dennis, the anchor, Ricky, Keenan, Zapata, Jameson, Pancho, Corey, the roof doctor, Julian, Nick, McPaxton, John, Larry, Drew, Trady, Sherwin, Carmelita, Expect, Thomas, Sam, Eric, Harold, Fizz, Ryan, Lamar, Justin, OJ, Corwin, Taiwan, Gorilla, and Andrew. Guys, shout out to all the ballers. $2.99 a month. You get badges like this next to your name in the comments, and you get some emojis that I have in the bottom right of the screen as well. And you guys have exclusive access to giveaways. You know, when you think about doing a channel-wide giveaway, there's thousands and thousands of people involved in the giveaway. When we do the ballers giveaway, it's like a 1 in 40 chance as of right now to win some cool stuff. So consider that, guys. That link will be in the pinned comment in the description. And if you're on desktop, you also have the, uh, the join button as well. And also, I mean, while we're plugging, I know you guys probably hate this but while we're plugging um youtube let me know that we just got approved for the super thanks uh feature on youtube so if you're watching this video if you feel like you know you, you want to support the channel you don't want to pay monthly like a baller you guys i think it's at the bottom of the screen somewhere within the youtube uh, right near the description you guys can just click the thanks button and donate if you do want to uh to do that so i had to shout that out it's our first day doing it but enough rambling here i can talk to a brick wall but uh you know might as well jump into some actual nba talk we got the sixers hosting the heat obviously miami up to nothing in this series. The spread right now, Philly plus three at home. No Joel Embiid still. And uh, Georges Niang um, is questionable. In terms of injuries here for Miami, Vincent is questionable. P.J. Tucker is questionable. Martin is questionable. Max Struess is questionable. Tyler Hero is questionable. He still has that ankle injury, but he's been playing. Um, and then Kyle Lowry is questionable as well. He has been out, um, but he's got the uh, the hamstring injury. But, um, you know, We'll see if he plays. This is a very low number. I know Philly might be coming back home, feeling themselves a little bit, but Miami has shown through two games now that there's no reason you would, uh, you know, I guess believe that they that this Philly team can hang with Miami without Joel Embiid. They've covered um, both times here, seven and a half and eight, two big numbers. They beat them 106 to 92 and 119 to 103. And some trends to look at here for Miami. Um, the under is four and zero oh in their last four when their op opponent scores, scores 100 points or more in their previous game. The Sixers scored 103 last game, so maybe we peak at the under. The total is two. 210 as of right now which 
210, 210 and a half, whatever you get it at your book. I feel like that is a sketchy, sketchy number to look at and be like, oh yeah, no, these two teams, but we're get, we are getting into some playoff basketball, I'll be honest. Um, but some more trends here. We have the Heat 4-0 against the spread in the last four versus a team with a win percentage above 600. Um, and then for Philly, the under 4-0 in the Sixers' last four when their opponent allows 100 more. So it's the parallel or the reverse of that. The under is 5-0 in their last five games, scoring 100 points or more in their last, um, in their previous game. And then in terms of some things to look at here, the over in these last five meetings, the over is 4-1. So all of a sudden, now you're looking at these under trends, right? Over is 4-1 the last five times that these two teams played. That doesn't strike me as, okay, all the trends were going under. Here's a good, good stat that says, hey, let's take the over. Almost throws the almost throws the uh, the total out the window for me because it's such an obscure number. Um, and then another trend between the two of these: the Heat are eight three and one against the spread in the last twelve meetings here. This Heat team is better than the Sixers team. Three points doesn't seem like it's all that much. We're gonna be leaning Heat. I might even throw them in another parlay. I hate parlays, you guys know that, but we've been doing all right with teasers with parlays, so we might throw Heat money line into something here. But um, I will I will say that this um, this this Heat team. As of right now, if all those guys that are injured or questionable, if they play, Joel Embiid's already ruled out. If those guys play, I think that this is another game where the Heat say, wow, we are just so much better than you. And, uh, you know, we're riding the hot hand, no pun intended, with the Heat. So my lean here is going to be Heat minus three in this one. Um, and, and it's funny because I actually kind of believe, weirdly enough, as a big Celtics fan, I believed in this, this Sixers team coming into the playoffs. And then Joel Embiid gets injured. I'm like, oh no, like he is, he is the Sixers. That's not breaking any news to anyone. But damn, when he's when he's out, the Sixers team is nowhere near the team that they are. So I'm gonna lean um, Heat in this one. 76% of the money as of right now looks like it is on the Heat. So it's a very much a public play here. But we're gonna lean Heat in this one, guys. Uh, make sure to use that hashtag right today in the comments. Hit that subscribe button, like the video, all that good stuff. Maybe throw in a super thanks if you guys do choose to support the channel and want to donate. But let's get into the second game of this two-game slate. And I know I got a couple comments in, in one of the recent videos. It's like, why are you pulling the most obscure trends out and everything like that? When there's only two games a night, I got to keep myself busy looking at the, you know, digging as, as deep to the core of the earth to try and find some of these trends. Like, a team's 4-0 on their last Tuesday games before 3 o'clock. It's like, yeah, maybe that doesn't mean much but if it leans in our favor it might be worth mentioning you know what i mean so that's where some of these absolutely obscure trends come from but uh we're moving on to the dallas mavericks hosting the phoenix suns i've seen this as phoenix minus one in plenty of books my book right now has it as a pick them uh minus 110 odds which is great the total is 220 here sarich out for the suns and tim hardaway jr out for the mavericks two season long injuries as of right now phoenix the over is five and oh in their last five games following against and against the spread win they are obviously up 2-0 in this series um covering both times that first game by the skin of their teeth, though. Um, they're 4-0 against the spread in the last four games over uh, overall, and the over 6-1 and in the last seven overall. For Dallas here, Mavericks 5-0 and against the spread in the last five games after allowing more than 125 points in their previous game, which I don't hate that stat. They say, oh my God, we got smoked, or at least we just didn't play good defense, right, in our last game. Let's lock it up. Let's play some good basketball. And the stats show that uh, you know they might they might be looking good there. They're four zero against the spread in the last four home games following a road trip of seven or more days. Obviously, they've been in Phoenix here. Um, the Suns thirteen and three against the spread in their last sixteen meetings when playing in Dallas. That's kind of the nail in the coffin for me. I hate to be a chalk play here, but we are going to be leaning Phoenix. I think that this series, I've said it all along. I think this series is the type of game that yeah, Dallas might take a game or two or something like that. But if you bet. Phoenix for this entirety of the series. I think you end up profitable. That's just my two cents, but we're going to lean Phoenix in this one. It's a pick em. Um, you get pretty good odds for a team that I think is way better than this Dallas team. I know that Dallas has firepower and they can actually go off at any given moment, Luka and company and all that. But I think people forget how good this Phoenix Suns team is, how good they were, and some of the veterans that they have on that team and the young stars that are coming along. So I'm going to lean Phoenix in this one in the pick -em. So Phoenix money line is going to be my lean here. The total 220, I'm going to lean the over. 220, I think both these teams are very capable of scoring 115 plus. So that total may be a final play. Make sure to keep an eye on the pin comment. That is where my final plays will live as always. And, uh, you know, that's going to wrap it up for the predictions portion of the video. I know 
at some point I rambled about some of these random trends. But, you know, again, when you have two days off and you only have two games on the slate when you get back, there are some, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's fun to go through some of these more obscure trends. But that is going to wrap it up for the video, guys. Make sure to check out the pinned comment for my final plays. You're going to find the Discord link in there, too, if I add any player props or anything like that. But, uh, yes, use hashtag ride of the day if you do have a play that you want me to jump on board with. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. As always, peace out.